Evening everyone. We're starting with breaking news tonight. Homes going up in flames with a brand new wildfire growing near Prescott. This is exactly what fire crews were worried about. The viewpoint fire is being spread by extremely strong winds and overly dry conditions. So far, multiple homes have been destroyed and more are being threatened with evacuations underway. Right now, about 4,000 acres have already been destroyed. Team 12's William Pitts has the very latest on this breaking news. William. Well, guys, we're getting our first look at what it looks like out here, what this fire actually burned. And check it out. This was all grassland, all of that long grass. If you've ever been out here between Prescott Valley and Chino Valley, that's exactly what's burning. So luckily, it didn't get that intense. But take a look over here. It did take out this entire, looks like a barn or a garage at this home that we pulled up in front of, just leveled to the ground, nothing but debris over there. You see how close it came to this house. Luckily, this house had a lot of what they call defensible space. It's space cleared between whatever dry grass, brush, trees, whatever, uh, and your house. So the fire pretty much stopped right there. But if you take a look over at this one, this fire jumped through this fence, came right up here, and this is what happened. It died out in these little fingers right there, but got very, very close to that house right over the way a little bit. And of course, firefighters are still doing water drops in this area. This was a grass fire when it started about noon along Highway 89A. By 2 o'clock, it was 2,000 acres, now 4,000. There was almost no pre evacuation notice out here. There really wasn't any time. In a lot of places, there was just what they called a go message. That means get out now. Most of the damage was where we are in Paquito Valley. That's between Prescott Valley and Chino Valley. It's burned, as we said, at least two homes that we know of, maybe up to four more, at least 10 to 12 other outbuildings. And people had just a few minutes to get out. They knew the winds out here today were very bad. I, I minutes. I didn't collect anything. I had too many animals to take care of, and so I was gone. Our firefighters are doing their best. But the winds are so erratic, it's burning. It's burning towards Gina. Right, and we know about the winds. I mean, the winds are really hard right now, so they can change. Now, luckily, the fire has mostly stopped burning and did not get any closer to Chino Valley, but the damage, they say, is already done. Again, they're still doing water drops on some of the hot spots around here, and for the most part, sheriff's officials and other uh, officials are checking to see exactly how much damage there was. But taking a look at this, you can see just how close to the ground it burned all the way down, just took all of this grass out, and luckily just seemed to have burned itself out. But again, they're being very careful in case there are still some more hot spots up here with this 40 mile an hour wind that you can probably hear on my microphone right now. They don't want to take any chances that this, this thing might flare back up. Live near Chino Valley, William Pitts, 12 News. Yeah, quickly, how quickly it's uh, scary, how quickly it starts and spreads. Will, thank you for getting up there so quickly and, and bringing us that information. We'll have the very latest on this breaking news coming up on 12 News at 10 o'clock.